Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. That's the website where you can get all kinds of help and tips for your job in library marketing. I'm here in the cavernous newspaper stacks of my library with a question that I wanted to answer today. It came from a webinar that I did recently and because of time I didn't have the ability to get to this question, but it's something that everyone who works in library marketing struggles with. So here's the question. How do you keep the public informed about what the library has to offer? Often we promote a new product or service, but if the patron has missed that wave of promotion, they don't know about it. I think that is a great question. I think it's a struggle that we all have. And my answer comes from a marketing conference that I went to a couple of years ago where I heard a guy named Andrew Davis talk about a concept called tiered or staggered promotion. And here's how it works. Basically, most of the time when we do library marketing, we create a campaign and we release all the elements of that campaign all at the same time. But when you're doing tiered or staggered promotion, you release the pieces of the campaign at various stages. So for instance, let's say you are promoting a new service, like let's say you're your library just got onto overdrive right you could do a huge promotional push on the launch date of overdrive and that would be totally acceptable but you don't want to stop talking about the fact that your library has overdrive over time so what you do is you schedule out promotions at a varied rate depending on your own promotional schedule your ability to create those promotions but you would release each of these tactics over a long period of time. So for instance, let's say you do your big promotional push, then a couple weeks later, you send an email to all of your card holders and say, hey, don't forget we have this new app, Overdrive, that you can use to check out eBooks, and here are a couple of suggestions. Then maybe um, a couple weeks after that, you release a video showing how to use Overdrive and the Libby app. And then a few weeks after that, you release a blog post that talks about all the great things you can get on Overdrive. And then a couple weeks after that, you do another email. We just have to constantly be promoting the things, A, that our cardholders use most often, and B, that are the hidden treasures of our library, which are the things that we think are so cool, but that people don't know about. And I have to do this all the time and remind myself all the time that my cardholders don't know all the stuff that I know about the collection and the services available at the library. So honestly, when I'm doing my promotional um, schedule for the year, I just schedule in periodically one-off promotions um, over a period of time for those services and collection items that I think need to get a little extra attention. And you're totally right. We get new card holders all the time. People aren't paying attention to us all the time. And of course, we know that we have to market to people multiple times in order to get them to take an action. So the tiered or staggered approach helps you to do that in an efficient way so that you're not doing a whole bunch of work at one time. It also makes it more likely that your cardholders are going to hear about great programs or services at your library because the likelihood that you're gonna catch them in different places over different periods of time increases. So I hope that answers that question. If you have any comments, if you have an example of how you've used tiered or staggered promotions to great success at your library, please say so in the comments. I'd love to hear your success stories. Okay, we do have kudos this week, and my kudos goes to the Champaign Public Library in Illinois, because they did a video um, this week that got a whole lot of play on Facebook and on YouTube and such. And this video was um, produced, it's beautifully done, but it is basically about um, how, why people love their library. And what I really loved about this video is it shows a diverse population. It really touches um, in a way on the fact that the library has evolved and changed. So it shows people using the library in traditional and non-traditional ways. And I think it just does a beautiful job. The very last soundbite in the video, if it doesn't make you cry, I don't know what will. So great job, guys. I think this video is beautiful and wonderful. And of course, I will share a link on superlibrarymarketing.com, which is of course where you can go to ask questions for the video or to see past episodes 
or to sign up for upcoming webinars. I've got one in January with Orange Boy. I'm also going to be at Edge 2020 in Edinburgh in February. If you're in that area, you should register for that conference because I'm gonna be there and I'd love to meet you. And you can get all kinds of library marketing tips on superlibrarymarketing.com. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.